Hello everybody and welcome back to another mod reveal. This one has dropped on the mod hub today. Monday the 29th of June. By, uh, I call him Sid Modding. S-I-I-D Modding. Um, that's the John Deere IRX. The 410 I've got here. Model. As you can see, we're front and rear tracks all round. Um, been waiting for this for quite a while now, and it's been well worth the wait. Awesome looking piece of kit. That also comes as part of a pack, which is uh, available now on the Mod Hub. So there's various other machines as well. On tracks, and the US style machines. But we'll have a quick look round at it and see. Very well detailed. Sounds amazing. All the decals look uh, pretty clear and visible. The textures of it, I think, uh, look really good. Front weights. This one's got LED lighting. And on the flashing beacons. Your hazard beacons on the on the top there on the roof. Um, another feature what I like is you can actually see the span, the fan, sorry, you can see the fan turning. The radiator fan, so that's cool. Lovely little machine. Uh, Sid as I like to call him, or S-I-I-D, modding, done a fantastic job. One thing I did notice on the roof, I don't know if I can get up on that. I can't get up on the roof, I don't think. I'll better show you when I'm in that. Is the sat nav box is uh, on the corner, not in the middle of the roof and area. But as you can see, the LED warning beacons on the roof. Looking really cool. Um, I don't have any windows or doors or anything open up. I can't get anything to open anyway. I'll put that. I'll put the help menu up and see. Oh, that's nice. I just noticed the uh, steering wheel tilt forward and back. I'm on console, so that's um, that's L1 and uh, your left your left button on your D-pad. So that's cool. Awesome. All look very well detailed inside, as you'd expect. Got a screen up with your music and phone and different things. Your pedals didn't work right, uh, the gas accelerator pedal on the floor and your gear shifter. So that's all good. But like I say, lovely look on machine. I just will try one thing, just make sure. The indicators, that's cool, got them on the cab as well, so if you've got a um, high side of the trailer or something on the back. Brilliant picture. And on the front as well. So 
Awesome. So what we'll do is we'll uh, we'll take a look at it in the shop. Obviously, I'll be under tractors, large tractors. So I'm looking at the ARX series 2020. That's 349,000 to buy. Have a look at that. So the front weights, standard, 300 kilogram. Five, seven, eleven. You can go right up to eleven on the whites. The windows you can have uh, regular or tinted. The engine you can have a three ten, which is three hundred and fifty seven horsepower. A three forty, which is three hundred and eighty eight horsepower. A seven, a three seventy, which is four hundred and twenty horsepower. A four ten, the one I've got. Um, Highlight in the day is a 410 and that's 458 horsepower. You can have uh, additional screen in the cab. I'm sure that's what that mean, must mean, an additional screen. Yeah, you can have additional screen, I can see it. Or no screen. Um, your wheel options, you can have uh, 24 inch tracks, 24 inch tracks with uh, 120 inch spacing, 18 inch tracks with 120 and back to 24, that's the one I'm using, the 24 inch, that's the one I like, that's my particular choice. So, um, if you go for the highest horsepower model, the one which I've got with the screen, the most expensive, I think it's 400. And you have all options, 421,000. That does 31 miles per hour. In all honesty, that's not too bad a price if you want to lease it. I think these are all the ones from Sid. The 7R. 2020 which I ain't going to go into great detail with these ones um, the 8R was in the pack and the 8RT 2020 model and like I say the 8RX 2020 so these are all the new fronted models got the different fronts on them and we'll, we'll go and give it a try now <coughs> I've got a cultivator I can go on. <coughs> Hook up to.
As you can see, it's not ideal because this is American version. So, um, the actual dynamic hoses are going through the metal framework. So the lift and arms gear on the back, so there's only two dynamic hoses in, but uh, I was expecting that to happen. I already had this cultivar up at the farm here, so I thought I'd give, try, give this one a try. Nice bit of machinery, I think I should be using this one a lot. But I hope you enjoyed this uh, mod review video. Don't forget to give um, uh, SIID modding the old star rating. That'd help him out a lot. That's really cool, he's now starting to bring stuff. Not only a PC and Mac, also two uh, PlayStation, Xbox console players. So we thank him for that. And uh, please drop a like. And if you'd wish to, please uh, give a sub. It'd be much appreciated. And I'll catch you in the next one. Hope you enjoyed the video. Bye for now.